Hey everyone. Welcome back to CS Exams. In this video, we are sharing top 5 tips to help you pass the CISM exam with confidence. CISM is one of the most respected certifications in the information security field. Whether you're a seasoned cybersecurity professional or looking to step into information security management, the CISM can significantly boost your career by showcasing your ability to manage and oversee an organization's information security progress. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, we make quick 5-minute videos on cybersecurity. Let's get started. Tip number 1, be prepared for multiple correct answers. In the CISM exam, you'll often encounter questions that have two or more answers that seem correct. The key is to choose the one that's more correct in terms of business value. To do this, always think about the broader business context. Ask yourself which option provides the most benefit to the organization. Consider factors like alignment with business objectives, risk management strategies, and overall impact on the company's security posture. For example, imagine you're faced with the following question. Your organization is planning to implement a new security framework. Which of the following actions should you prioritize to ensure its successful adoption? Option A. Conduct comprehensive training sessions for all employees. Option B. Integrate the framework with existing business processes. Option C. Purchase advanced security tools to support the framework. Both option A and option B are correct, but option B is the better choice in terms of business value. Integrating the framework with existing business processes ensures that the security measures are seamlessly incorporated into daily operations, enhancing overall efficiency and effectiveness. While training is important, aligning the framework with business processes has a more significant impact on the organization's success. Remember, it's not just about what's technically correct, but what's best for the business. This mindset will help you select the most appropriate answer in those tricky scenarios. Tip number two. Understand the CISM domains thoroughly. The CISM certification is structured around four key domains. Information Security Governance Information Risk Management Information Security Program Development and Management Incident Management It's crucial to grasp how each of these domains interconnects to manage an organization's information security program effectively. Spend time reviewing the content waiting for each domain to focus your study efforts where they matter most. Typically, governance and risk management carry significant weight, so make sure you have a strong understanding of these areas. By thoroughly understanding each domain, you'll be better equipped to handle any question that comes your way. Tip number three, use a structured study plan. Having a well-organized study plan is essential to cover the entire CISM syllabus within your desired timeframe. Here's how you can create an effective study plan. Allocate specific times, dedicate specific times each day or week to focus on different domains. Consistency is key. Break it down, divide the content into smaller, manageable chunks. This makes it easier to digest and retain information. Use a variety of resources, combine books, online courses, and practice questions. I highly recommend the ISACA CISM Review Manual as a primary resource. Additionally, leverage online resources like video tutorials or boot camps to reinforce your learning. Schedule regular reviews, periodically review what you've learned to ensure the information stays fresh in your mind. By following a structured study plan, you can stay organized and make steady progress towards your certification goal. Tip number four, learn the facts. While understanding concepts is important, you also need to have a solid grasp of key definitions and facts related to information security and risk management. Here's what to focus on. Understand key definitions. Make sure you know essential terms and concepts. This foundational knowledge is crucial for answering exam questions accurately. Memorize important terms. Familiarize yourself with frameworks and standards such as COBIT, ISO 27000, PCI DSS, and key risk indicators, KRIs. Knowing these frameworks will help you apply your knowledge to different scenarios in the exam. Apply knowledge precisely, it's not enough to just memorize facts, you need to be able to apply them accurately to various situations presented in the exam questions. Practice applying your knowledge through scenario-based questions to build this skill. Mastering the facts will give you the confidence to tackle any question that comes your way. Tip number 5, focus on a management perspective. 
CISM is all about management and strategic thinking, not just technical details. Many candidates make the mistake of approaching the exam with a purely technical mindset, but the correct approach is to think like an information security manager. Here's how to adopt that perspective. Risk-based decision-making. Consider the risks and benefits of each option. How does each choice impact the organization's risk profile? Executive responsibility. Think about how you would act as an executive responsible for information security. This means aligning security strategies with organizational goals and risk appetite. Strategic alignment. Understand how security initiatives support the broader business objectives. This alignment is crucial for effective information security management. For example, consider the following scenario. Your company is facing budget constraints, and you need to propose a security initiative to the executive team. Which approach should you take to gain their support? Option A. Present a detailed technical plan outlining the specific security technologies to be implemented. Option B. Highlight how the security initiative aligns with the company's strategic goals and mitigates key business risks. Option C. Emphasize the potential penalties and legal implications of not implementing the security measures. While all options address important aspects, option B is the most effective from a management perspective. By highlighting how the security initiative aligns with strategic goals and mitigates business risks, you demonstrate an understanding of the broader business context and the value the initiative brings to the organization. This approach is more likely to gain executive support compared to a purely technical plan or focusing solely on penalties. By focusing on the management perspective, you'll be better prepared to answer questions that require strategic thinking and decision-making. So, let's recap the five top tips for passing the CISM exam. Be prepared for multiple correct answers by focusing on business value. Understand the CISM domains thoroughly to see how they interconnect. Use a structured study plan to stay organized and cover all necessary material. Learn the facts by mastering key definitions and frameworks. Focus on a management perspective to align security strategies with business goals. Stay consistent and motivated throughout your study journey. Remember, CISM isn't just a test of your knowledge, it's a test of your ability to think like a manager. Stay disciplined, and you'll succeed. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content on cybersecurity certifications, career tips, and industry trends, and drop a comment below if you have any questions or need more guidance. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Visit csexams.com for many free cybersecurity certifications practice tests.